Once upon a time, there was a man named Jim. And Jim lived in a simple town. He had a very simple life. He was married, had a small child, and he worked at a job. One day, Jim's boss came to him and said, Jim, you know, you're doing awesome here at work. You have a chance to be the man, the man of the company. What you need to do is you need to put your head down. You need to be willing to work a little harder than everybody else. And I promise you before too long, you're going to be a partner. You're going to be management status. You're going to be the leader. Heck, you may even be owning this company one day. So Jim scratches his head and he says, well, gosh, I never thought about that. Me? And he starts to imagine his life in the future. What that means when he's the leader and everybody looks up to him. The financial rewards, the vacations he'll be able to take his family on. How his life will change. And so Jim does this that. He puts his head down. He commits all out to just working, 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 working. He comes home and when he's at home, he's still thinking about work. His daughter asks him one day, hey daddy, will you go out and play with me? Not now, honey, I'll do it to tomorrow. I'm busy with work. Months go by, a couple years go by, his wife asks him, hey Jim, can we go on that date night we talked about? Not now, honey, I'm busy with work. We can do it tomorrow. Time continues to take and Jim continues to work harder and he slowly rises above the ranks. He keeps working, he keeps working and the clock keeps ticking. His daughter asks him one day, hey daddy, can you take me out for my driving lesson? Not now, honey. I gotta work. We'll do it tomorrow. He keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. His wife stops and asks him, Hey, Jim, can we take that vacation to go see my parents on the West Coast? Not now, honey. I gotta work. We'll do it tomorrow. And Jim keeps driving, 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 nose to the grindstone. He is the best employee this company's ever had, and he's still rising. He's still rising. His daughter asks him one day, Hey, Daddy, I met this guy. I think I want to marry him. Can we have more for dinner? Not now, honey. I gotta get this done. Tomorrow would be better. And he keeps going, he keeps going, he keeps going. His wife has him one day, he says, Jim, hey, you know, you don't look too healthy. Maybe you should start exercising. You know, I, I, the daughter's married. She's got a baby on the way. You know, we could, I want you to be around. They talk about all these studies about heart disease and how it's not good for you. and. And maybe you should make your, make your health a priority. Not now, honey, I can't. You know, I'm almost there. I got one more position to go, and then I'm the boss. We'll do it tomorrow. So Jim keeps going, he keeps going, and on the day of his promotion, he gets the congratulations. Jim, you're the man. You are the company man. You're going to have your name on the big office. You're going to have everybody's looking up to you. Congratulations, you worked your tail off. And Jim's sitting there, and he's celebrating with everybody, and cheers, and he gets his company watch, and whatnot, and he's celebrating, and all of a sudden he re reaches up and he feels something. And he starts to turn pale. And then people look at him and say, Jim, Jim, are you okay? And Jim falls down. Jim wakes up with beeping around him. He's inside the hospital, there are surgeons desperately around him, he hears muffled noises. Here's muffled noises, here's the beeps, here's panic, here's everything else. Then he kind of fades out. As time goes by, he doesn't know how much, and he wakes up to the doctor saying, Jim, Jim, can you hear me? He said, yeah. And the doctor says, Jim, you've had a massive heart attack. We're not sure how long you have left to live. But if you don't change, if you don't make your priorities a priority now, you probably won't be around very much longer. And so Jim looks up and he sees his family come in, his wife. And he doesn't, he doesn't really recognize her. He doesn't realize how much she's grayed over the years. His daughter, who's fully grown with a husband of her own and two kids, his grandkids, he hardly recognizes them because he realizes how much time has passed by and he hasn't missed out on all of it. He scatters, he's, he's struggling to remember times with his daughter, times with her prom, times with her cheerleading practice, her basketball team, her driving lessons. He can't remember any of them. And Jim starts to weep. Because in that moment, Jim realizes that he was chasing after this goal. When the things that he wanted most were right in front of him all along. It's important to always have goals in life. And in the pursuit of those goals, never lose sight of what's most important to you. Always make your priorities a priority. And you will be able to always be successful in any and all aspects of your life. Don't wait till tomorrow. 
because you never know if tomorrow's going to come. Start right now. I'll talk to you all soon.